Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'll be showing you how to install this epic mod right here. Look at the water. Just look at it. It's so awesome. Uh, so yeah, this mod has just been updated for 1.6.2 and I really wanted to install it so I installed it right when it was updated. So here is the mod right here and it is very cool. It's very easy to install as well. So speaking of that, I will switch the installation tutorial in about a minute. I'm just going to show you uh, what this ugly swamp looks like with this mod. Uh, looks pretty pretty epic. Actually, let's see, look at the reflections they move when you move, which is very realistic. Look at the water on the lily pads. It's so cool. Okay, so I'm going to move over to the installation tutorial. See you guys then. Hey guys, this is the installation tutorial part of the video, hopefully you enjoy it. So first of all, you're going to install the file in the description, you won't see that one there, but this is a water shader mod. So then once you got that, you put it on your desktop, and go to percent app data, oh, what just happened, okay, percent data, percent for this, for Mac, it's library application support Minecraft, go to percent data percent, and then you're going to open your dot Minecraft, which is right here, and then you're going to go to versions, and you're going to copy this, copy 1.6.2 if that's the version that you're installing, right there, and you're going to rename that to whatever you want, so I'm just going to call it uh, water, because it's a water shader, obviously. Rename this to water, rename this to water, then go in the JSON file, just right click it, edit with notepad, uh, then you're going to rename this, the ID at the top, as you can see, you got to rename that to water. Well, whatever you named it and you got to hit uh, yes I want to save that then you're gonna right click on the jar you need to have one for this by the way and what opened within our archiver then you're gonna right click on meta inf you got to always delete this because that will screw up minecraft I'm just gonna minimize this for a second you still need it uh, so you're gonna open this water shader folder and you're gonna drag these files not the shader folder do not drag the shader folder into here you just gonna do that okay and then my next t um, my next part don't close out of anything yet and go back there and then you're gonna go back to your minecraft okay so pretend you're here you gotta go back to your dot minecraft then you'll see all this crap here you won't you won't have this folder right there just don't worry about that uh, so then you'll see this folder right here called shader in your uh, water shaders folder drag that into there and there you go now you just need gonna need to go into minecraft uh, you can close out all this junk uh, close out of that close out of that then you're going to do the new profile well you don't need to do this but you can then you're going to call it water and then you get a your used version right here this is important use version find your water release water i have mods installed so i have different profiles so you're going to go to water and then save and then when it loads profile oh water okay so then you're going to hit play and oh Okay guys, now I'm in DX Tori, so I'm going to show you the mod in action. Well, to show you that it works, of course. Uh, so we're just going to go on to my new world. I don't know what this is, honestly. I just have a bunch of random worlds to test stuff. Um, stop my way, uh, what is this? Witchcraft. Uh, hold on. Why am I in a cave? Okay. So now we're out of that cave. We'll see that the water is pretty epic. Uh, find an example. Oh, we'll see that island. It's kind of reflecting over there. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to go fly around a little bit. So, as you can see, the water is terrific. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. Look at that water. Uh, so, 